emotion in me of just joy and peace and happiness and harmony. I mean, all of these great higher vibrational emotions. Emotions is the energy in motion. It's how the energy manifests in your body. It how So it's taking that feeling. You take a thought and then the feeling. And then how does that manifest in your body? That's an emotion. And then we go to beliefs. We kind of, that's where all those three things came from. So if I believed my whole life, if somewhere down the line I learned to believe that, um, that when it's sunny and there's flowers out, that's pretty and that's peaceful and that's calm, then I'm going to believe that. But, um, you know, what if somewhere down the line somebody in my life just hated flowers, you know, killed every flower they could find. Flowers are terrible. Flowers are bad or whatever. Or, or they hate, you know, all you the know. things, flowers. I mean, I I've never heard a no. flower shoe killer. No, no, I haven't either. I hope I never meet one. <laughs> but, you know, it just goes to show you the power of your beliefs. So let's switch that to something people might really think badly about. Um, when it rains, hmm. I don't have as much heightened energy as I do when it's sunny. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't depress me. It doesn't put me in a bad place. But there are people that actually are very much affected by rain. Um, it's rainy. It's cloudy. So you're depressed. I'm so depressed. It's a, oh, it's just a bad day. This day is so bad. If that's what they really believe, then everything else, their thoughts, their feelings, and their emotions are going to be in very low vibration. And, you can't, and you're going to attract more of that. So if you're in a low vibration, it's raining, you're crabby, you're depressed, and you go out and about, you're going to walk into a grocery store and you're going to take everybody else's in low vibrational energy on. Oh, you're no, attracting this is that. Bad. This is yeah. Bad. So yeah. the first thing that needs to be addressed for anybody who wants this to be addressed is emotions or beliefs. Beliefs. It's the first thing that anybody needs yes. to address. Like, and how do we go, go about approaching this? How do you do this? For your patients? It's a very good question because the hardest part about beliefs is so many of them are unconscious. Okay, we don't yes. even know what they are. Um, the way I teach, and there's different schools of thought again with this, some people only teach, for example, when you look at clinical psychology, they teach uh, consciousness and unconsciousness. Well, I teach three layers, and a lot of the spiritual teachers do. There's consciousness, subconsciousness, and unconsciousness. So unconscious is so, we just don't know what that is. It's, we, it's not in our consciousness. We have no idea what's deep buried in there. Um, however, subconscious is when you're bringing, you're doing the work, you're doing energy work, you're doing healing, you're doing meditation, you're doing, uh, it could be physical exercise, which also brings us into a very aligned place sometimes. Um, Med meditation, is that what you said? Med meditation is another okay. one. Um, you're doing these things. You're doing your own work, your own spiritual growth, your own, um, not even just spiritual growth, it, 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 self-development. Self you're doing your yes. self-development journey. And if you're doing that work, um, I, uh, I apologize, but I have no idea what I was going to No, this is good. This it is happens good. sometimes. It, it, it happened right now. Yeah. This is happening live, you know? Yeah. My mind all of a sudden just, went this way. I'm going over to that side. Why, of the room. why did that happen? <laughs> um, I'm not sure. It's just something distracting my energy. There's a distraction there. So. Yeah, and, and am I am I really aligned that much to you right now? That. Yes. So yes. Am, am I feeling tired? That like is, is that why I'm feeling tired? I'm you thinking really so. I'm not tired. Because I noticed that you and I both are just really tired right now. No, it's okay. And uh, it, it could, could be. Energy. I mean, I don't know. It could be the energy in the hallway. It could I don't what know. kind of energy can that be? Like, is that a lower vibration? It is. It is. So you can feel something in lower vibration or hanging around in here? I, I, it's not in here. I feel it's outside of here. So you can only it. tell. You can tell. Yes. How can you tell? Um, you have this, this gift? When it's you just the senses that I have. Yeah. I don't so this is what you're born I'm with. Very well, I'm very well aware of all that is around me in a pretty broad like a mile are we going to say a mile oh gosh i, I don't know it, it's hard to say that because i also do distance work and i can pick up people in other states and countries and are you serious but i have to tune into them it's not you know it's when i'm in tune with them but there's something there there are some energies somewhere outside of this room that i'm feeling 
um, that are kind of what I call oppressive. They're, um, you know, they're just they're heavier. You know, we're picking that up. Okay. So okay. I'm now trying this to is shift right. that. This thing happening. Yes. Right. Good. Very good. And we and I can shift that if I get into the right place. In fact, as soon as I said that and addressed it, it already lifted a little bit because they're like, oh, she's aware we're here. Whatever it they're, is. They're already feeling it. Yeah, they know that I'm picking it up. How do they know this? Um, Are they also spiritual? It's not conscious. They don't. They're not aware that I'm aware. See, that's the whole thing. That's how I can exist in just this human world. Which, like I said, I learned early on to be this whole actress, this chameleon, and blend in, because I started learning how to read other people and what they do and don't know. So these people are not aware that they walked happened. through with some really oppressive, heavy energy, and it whooshed in on us. They're not aware that I'm aware of that. I just do what I need to do to get back into alignment. And this sometimes that's quick, and sometimes it's not. Sometimes it takes me a while. So what do you mean by oppressive energy? Okay, what I mean by oppressive is heavy. Hmm. And like oppressive means boil pressing down. Pressing down. Pressing down. Unability to express. Yes. Is that what you feel? It's yes. It's a heaviness in my chest, in my heart chakra. It's like wanted to say something they couldn't say. <laughs> yes, that's exactly it. Okay, we're gonna shift. Oh wow! Whoo! I felt the energy shift when you said that. Wow! Powerful, powerful. Why? Oh, cool. oh, you just said the right word. Um, they're trying to take away our freedom, and they don't. They don't. Most people don't even know they're doing it. They don't. They're not even aware, because they're so conditioned. That in these illusions of what safety is. Yes, in, exactly. In, in the name of safety and yes. protection and all yes. that. And yeah. it does. It kind of squishes everything down like, oh. See, when I was, the more I was getting into that and talking, the less I felt able to express myself. It was kind of heavy and I was, and, and when it does that, you yawn, you breathe heavier. You're breathing shallow. You're not bringing it all the way up from the abdomen. You know, you're shallow breathing. So that's what I was feeling. It was just that heavy. So somebody energy. is in here who really feels deep inside and believes that his freedom is being taken away. Well, I don't know if they feel their freedom is being taken away. They feel that I should not be able to... I, I feel a presence that is not wanting... And it can be my own mental thoughts, too. I mean, that's that's where it's complicated. It could be coming from my own deep beliefs that I don't even know about. But somewhere there's an energy that does not want me to have a voice and to speak my truth. Yeah. I have felt it my whole life. And is this you, is happening live. You're right. This is very good. Well, is that like, um, because you said you can see angels and everything. Mm -hmm. And do you think angels, um, it, it, you, is that true? Can that really happen? You can see angels or it can be bad angels or good angels. You can feel that. I don't. Um, like, or, or is it ghosts? I, I don't, I don't know how to say this. This is. You can say it. I don't know. Yeah, I just don't know how to put it to words. I don't. I don't see them as good angels and bad angels. Yeah. I don't see people as good and bad. I don't see ghosts as good and bad. Because with a lot of the work, I used to. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the work I've done, I've been able to remove, not always, but for the most part, I've been able to remove judgment. So for me, it just is. It just is. And it's just an energy. It's not a good or a bad or right or wrong or pretty or ugly. It's just kind of like, oh, okay, that's where that energy is. Now, when I teach it and explain it, I can say that is a lower vibrational energy and that is a higher vibrational energy. So I can say, when I say oppressive, that is a heavier, lower vibrational energy, and it shifts me down pretty quickly. But that doesn't mean, for me, again, this is my truth and what I've learned. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean it's bad. It doesn't mean, um, I shouldn't have said it that way. It's not good. It's not what I would call good, and it's not what I would call I want to be in the presence of. But if I judge it as bad, I'm going to immediately attract more of that. We talked about that earlier. If I put a label on something as oh that's bad, that's bad, that's bad, I don't want it up, you know, get off me. I'm going to attract more of that because that's where my thoughts are going. So wherever your focus is. So wherever your focus is is what. The energy goes where your mind goes. 
I mean, that's what we attracted. So if my energy goes to, oh, there's something bad, and I start getting anxious about it, I'm going to attract more of that, and more of that energy is going to come in, and more of that, and more of that. But if I, and that's what I was talking about earlier, but if I shift my energy to, um, you know, if I immediately, sh okay, I recognize it, for example, with what happened earlier. Let's, let's if I was sitting earlier. here with the client, <clears throat> and I felt that oppressive energy, and I noticed them getting tired and me getting tired, I would not consciously say to them, oh, something bad. I would not do it that way. I would just, in my own space, do what I need to do to shift the energy back to a higher vibrational frequency so that we can continue what we're doing. We can continue our work. Um, but if I stopped and got really worried about it, oh, there's something bad, and if I gave it attention, it's going to draw more of that. But if I can come back into... Uh, calling my angels, calling my guides, working with all that I work with out there that, for protection and all of that. If I do that, then I'm going to attract more of that. So I was trying to do that. Okay. And I was trying to bring in good ones, like. some higher vibrational energy that could bring us back up. And then you said the word free. You said something that implied freedom. And I just felt it shift immediately. In a better way? or A better way, yes. I was like... That's the right word. That's it. Because suddenly we just, that oppression started lifting. It wasn't as heavy. I still feel some of it, but it, because it takes a while. It takes a while when an energy attaches to you to get it off or to release it. I feel like a diamond shining armor. Yeah. You need the bad yeah. energy. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of, there's a lot of teachings in that. People that learn, um, for example, there's a whole school of thought called angel therapy. Mm -hmm. And the angel therapy teaches that, that. Uh, Archangel Michael is the one that comes in with the big sword and the armor, and he cuts all the cords away, you know, gets those energies off you. I mean, there's a lot of teachings about that, is my point. That there are many different... And basically, when I teach it, I tell people, find what you resonate with. You know, some people might resonate with angels. Some people might resonate with fairies, and some might resonate with um, these ascended masters, you know, these gods... Some might have, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's yeah, going to yeah. find something that yeah, they, resonate with something. For else. some people, it's just pure astrology, and it's it's the planets, and it's the the stars or the suns or the moons. You know, everybody everybody resonates with something different, but it all comes from that that overall energetic source.